725 now on Breakfast Television. Time for your business news with Mike Apple. Mike, good morning. We are talking uh, Dollarama this morning. They are seeing fewer customers, but a huge jump in the amount being spent per visit. Yeah, I mean, this, this is the uh, shifting trends, I suppose, in consumers during the pandemic, after, you know, as things start to re, re get back a little bit to normal. Dollarama was deemed an essential service, more or less, from a retail standpoint. I mean, Walmart had that designation, uh, Costco, the same thing. Dollarama saw fewer customers, but when people did come into the stores, they spent a lot more. 22% was uh, higher, was the average spend per customer in the latest quarter. And their sales actually rose in the midst of the pandemic shutdown. Think about that for a second. You know, people were binge buying, right? And you're looking for discounts, you know, and, and the, the, the dollar store business model, when the economy slumps, people look for bargains and they typically do. Uh, head to Dollarama and its competitors. I have to confess, I did go in there over the weekend. I bought a few more chips than I normally would have because it's cheap <laughs> in there, right? I love it. I know. Um, okay, oil. let's move over to uh, <laughs> Starbucks now, talking coffee. Yep. Uh, Starbucks is looking to yeah. focus more on drive throughs They uh, have given an update on, on their sales uh, in the midst of everything that's going on. So on the quarter, they're looking at sales worldwide down by about $3 billion. That is very significant. That's a huge number. At the same time, um, you know, how are people interacting? How are they going to restaurants or fast food in this case? They're going to drive throughs And even before the pandemic, Starbucks says 80% of its U.S. sales were at drive throughs or grab and go. So do you need uh, in-store seating, for example? Is that as important? You can have a much smaller footprint. You can open more stores. So they're, they're going to close, according to the company's filings this morning, uh, maybe up as many as 200 stores here in Canada and 200 in the United States, but then maybe reposition them from a drive-through model or grab and go. They're starting to look at that. But again, it's it's you still have to have people getting back to office towers and regular routines, really, to see a stabilization in sales. Right. Um, finally, AMC theaters getting ready to reopen mm -hmm. in the UK. Um, are you ready to go? Yeah. To, are and you ready to go back too. to the movie theater? I know Thor is I looking know. forward to it. I don't know. Well, here's the thing. What's coming out? Right. <laughs> what movies are out? There's mm -hmm. something by James Cameron, I believe, and or no, not James Cameron. Um, oh, I don't know. Don't man, don't ask me. It escapes. Anyway, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Um, Disney's Mulan is coming out next month. I know that much. Oh, yes. But are we ready to go? Yeah. I don't know if it has Mushu in it though, or something. Oh no, Mishu. Mishu's not in it. He wasn't Mishu? in the trailer, but maybe he'll make us. My kids. Yeah, my kids were wondering about that. Going, <laughs> uh, where's the dragon? Anyway, um, so. Yeah, they're, they're still going to have to, if you're not part of the same family, are you still going to have space between, like, seats? So they're not going to sell as many tickets. Um, and are people going to feel comfortable going back to the screen, a big screen theaters? Or do you just say, hey, I've got a big television in the basement or on the main floor and I can just watch things at home? Yeah. You can order, you can order in uh, popcorn. You can. Wow. All right, Mike, yeah. we're out of time, but uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> We'll talk more. Okay. Take it easy. <laughs> uh, approaching 7.30 now on uh, Breakfast Television. We'll have more of your top stories coming up.